Hi, this is Dr. Nikki with a quick tip for my new book, Math Workstations in Action. And this is a great workstation to set up. It comes from the Lawrence Hall of Science. And um, it's just been around forever. And But people don't use it anymore. So I really want you guys to, to use it. It's just a great activity. It's called the Three Bean Salad Activities. If you Google Three Bean Salad, tons of stuff comes up. And so you just get the beans that you want to use with the kids because you can type up your own recipes. And, and then it's to get kids to develop algebraic thinking. So you do things like you say. You can eat, the kids can either, you can write out recipes. The kids can make their own recipes. Um, you can put them on index cards. You can put them on paper. You just do what works for you. But this is the premise of it. You say like, there's a tin bean salad and a fifth of the beans are red and a tenth of the beans are white and the rest of the beans are pinto beans. So... Um, so now I know I have a tin bean salad, and so a fifth are going to be red. So that's going to be two of my beans. And a tenth are going to be white. So that means I'm going to have seven beans that are, these are actually black eyed peas, um, three, six, seven. So, and then the kids have to write that, and... Um, you want them to, they can draw it and, um, right? But what you really want the kids to do is to lay that out and you want them to do like, put it in rectangles. That's what I love about the three bean salad is it can go right into the bar diagram. We gotta find ways to get kids to understand the bar diagram. So now the kids can see this is 10, this was two, this was one, and this was seven, right? This was a fifth was red, a 10th was white, and the rest, which is, would be you know, seven tenths um, was pinto beans. Now, that's how I do it, to go from the concrete to the pictorial to the abstract. Let's look at another problem. I love these problems. Kids love these problems. You just put the beans in baggies. It's a cheap, it's a cheap workstation to set up, but it gives you a lot of mileage. Here's another problem. Um, there are 12 beans. Three of the beans are red. And... Half of the beans are pinto beans. So the kids would know, I, like I said, I'm using black eyed peas, but we know half of 12 is going to be 6. And then the rest of the beans are lima beans. So again, I have my concrete. That's my concrete. And then to go to my pictorial, I could have the kids draw the beans out. Right? I go for my concrete. Some people do it like this. They go to their pictorial. Right? And then you actually put the numbers in there. This salad had 12 beans and three were red. Six were um, pinto, and then the rest were lima, right? So this was a half, and um, this was a fourth, and this was a fourth. And so it's a reasoning problem, and that's how you do it. Concrete, pictorial, abstract. And the abstract leads you right into the bar model, and, and you, you know, of course, you want the labels. So you would put here red, um, pinto, in Lima, right? And um, so that's why I love it. I love it for the concrete pictorial abstract concept. Set that up in your workstation. Get your bags with your beans. Google three bean salad. And tons of stuff will come up. 
you have an instant station that stays up all year and you just make it more complicated as the year goes by so you know in the beginning kids are working with easier fractions and in the end they're working with you know uh, more difficult concepts and different problem types with the fractions so thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed that quick tip and i'll see you next time happy mathing